Hi, welcome to a Communications Cigars short on what is a duplexer and how does a duplexer work. Today what we're going to do is we're going to be talking about band pass and notching of a duplexer, okay? There's two types of duplexers out there. There is what they call a notch duplexer and there's what they call a band pass duplexer. They usually have notch type devices in there. That's what we're going to talk about here. But first of all, you have to understand how a duplexer works. So the duplexer comes in here and it goes, the signal comes in here and it goes on these two cables. Now one cable is here because I've already tuned the receive side or the pass high side. And then the other one's gonna go ahead and connect. And that's what the cable is here. But I have this currently hooked up to my monitor and I'll show you what I mean in just a minute here. But what basically happens with the duplexers is you have your signal come in. Now a signal for duplexer, guess what? Is for the most part like electricity. And what it does is it likes to take the path of least resistance. So in this case, what's gonna happen with this duplexer is the signal comes in here and it goes down these two cables, splits in these two cables, and the signal is gonna come into here and then the signal will come into here. And what's gonna happen is, is that the signal is going to travel the least path of resistance. So in this case, the pass high is gonna pass the upper frequency and the pass low, which is kind of, you can see it kind of right there, unfortunately, kind of blocked a little bit, is gonna pass the low frequency. So for this, I'm gonna be using 157560, and then the transmit side, which you kind of see, is gonna be 152300. So let's look at the monitor here real quick. So the monitor, as I move my cables out of the way here, the monitor is gonna go ahead and show. So what happens is, is that we wanna reject a frequency, which takes it low or notches it out. And then we're gonna do a pass, which is gonna be up here. So I wanna pass the frequency. So going back to our duplexer here, this is the transmit side we're working on, one, five, two, 300. So what I wanted to do is when the signal comes in here, I want the one, five, two, 300 signal to go up and go down both of these. And it's gonna come up here and says, oh, no, 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 no. I, this is too much resistance. This is gonna be the least amount of resistance. But when we're talking about a duplexer in this case, we have two parts to this duplexer, okay? We have a receive side and transit side, like I said, but per each individual one, we have a band pass and then we have a notch. What's gonna happen is, is that this rod, these rods here are gonna be adjusted so that that signal is all the way up at the top right there. We wanna get that signal all the way to the top. And we wanna have the least amount of resistance for that signal. And then what's gonna happen is, is these down here are gonna notch out the opposite frequency. So in other words, on this side here, which is, it happens to be on my transmit side, it's gonna go ahead and pass 152300, but these two little things here are going to go ahead and notch out the receive of 157560. If I go up to this one here, these two rods are gonna be adjusted to pass 157.56, and then as you see there, the transmit, 152300, these are gonna be adjusted to notch those frequencies out. What that does is it says, okay, 152300, don't go this route, too much resistance, go this route here. Now, if you notice on each of the cans, it has a notch filter. And what we do, the reason we want two notch filters in this case is because each one of these has to pass and reject. So double the pleasure, double the notching, right? double the band pass, double the ease on there. And that is a quick short on how a duplexer is gonna filter it out for a very notch type duplexer.